We all experience low blood sugar at some time or another. It's usually if we've forgotten to eat or we've done a lot of physical exercise and then we develop these symptoms of feeling, well, we call it hangry. So we're hungry, we're irritable, we're sometimes shaking, our decision making goes out the window. Um, sometimes we get sweaty, maybe we get a little bit of pins and needles in our fingers or around our mouth and generally we don't feel very good. Um, and then we usually have a couple of chocolate bars, which is the wrong thing to do. And then, um, you know, later on we have a meal and we start to feel better. So it's not an unusual situation and it doesn't usually cause a problem except we overeat the wrong food, except that when you're using insulin. So when you're using insulin, we have to be very aware of low blood sugar. We call uh, um, the sugar as being low when it's four or less. So especially when you're a pregnant woman, and as I said, when you're using insulin to manage your blood sugars, if you have any signs at all of being hungry, of feeling irritable, maybe dizzy, a little lightheaded, can't make decisions, feel sweaty, pins and or if you're feeling funny for any reason whatsoever, test your blood sugar. Don't wait for two hours. Test your blood sugar when you first notice those signs. If your blood sugar is more than four, just have a little snack and observe those symptoms. And if they get worse, maybe you need to call your midwife, maybe you need to have a rest. But if your blood sugar is over four and you've had a little snack, then you don't have to worry about it being low blood sugar. If you check your blood sugar and your blood sugar is four or less, then you do have hypoglycemia or low blood sugar and it's very important that we manage this. So the way we manage low blood sugar in pregnancy is to have some fast acting sugar. And this is the stuff that we tell you, don't ever have this because it's fast acting sugar. We want you to have longer acting, sustainable, healthy carbohydrates. We don't want you to have the fast acting sugar. But when you've got a low blood sugar, this is exactly what you need. So this fast acting sugar could be six jelly beans or six soft jubes that you can chew quickly and uh, get the sugar from quickly. Three teaspoons of jam or honey, half a glass of fruit juice or fizzy drink, not the diet type. Or simply um, three teaspoons of sugar mixed into some warm water and dissolved and drink this. So this sugar works very, very quickly, but wait 10 or 15 minutes and then check your blood sugar again. You're going to be right to wait for 10 or 15 minutes. You don't need to rush this treatment. So wash your hands because if you've got any of that sugar on your fingers, it's going to register high on your meter and check your sugar after 10 to 15 minutes. Usually your sugar is now above four, but if it isn't, repeat that treatment, wait another 10 minutes, check your blood sugar. Once your blood sugar is above four, you need to have a little healthy snack to sustain your blood sugar. Otherwise, that's the trouble with simple sugar. It puts your sugar up quickly, but just as quickly your sugar dry, drops again and you're in the same problem. So have a little healthy snack, a, a sandwich, uh, some crackers and cheese, a glass of milk, a half a banana, something that you would normally have for a snack. The reasons that you might experience a low blood sugar episode while you're having insulin is that perhaps you've given a little bit too much insulin with your meal, or perhaps you've done a little bit more exercise than you were thinking that you were going to do after the meal, or maybe you'd forgotten to eat the meal. So those are the general reasons that you get a low blood sugar. You usually get a low blood sugar during the day with the faster acting insulin, but it is possible that you might have a low blood sugar during the night. Um, not usually caused by the, lower, by the slower acting insulin, but sometimes can be a little bit more scary to get a low blood sugar during the night just because you're waking up in that situation and you can be a little bit disorientated. 
So it's not that it's any more um, serious or anything worse, but it just feels a little bit more scary. So just to summarize, we want you to be aware that you might have low blood sugar if you've been using insulin, especially the fast acting insulin with meals. It's very important to treat it um, according to what we've just discussed, not to over treat it. Don't ever treat a low blood sugar with chocolate or um, chocolate milk because this is a little slower to release the sugar. Um, treat it with the fast acting sugar. We've got a plan of how to treat the blood sugar in this um, leaflet that you will have been given when you started your insulin. So it's really important to have a look through this little booklet and especially have a look at the pages on treating a low blood sugar. And talk to your family about helping you if you're ever in this situation so that they feel comfortable to help you to manage your low blood sugar. Hopefully you're not going to have too many of them. But as usual, we're always available to talk to you. Um, call your diabetes midwife if you've experienced a low blood sugar or if you've got any other concerns.